Germany announces an exclusion zone of unrestricted submarine warfare, a campaign to attack all enemy ships, military and civilian, without warning. Its goal, to cut off all British commerce and vital war supplies. A lot of the things that Britain needs to survive, it has to bring in. And it brings it in by ships, largely from the United States, from South America, along well-traveled and long-established shipping lanes. Britain doesn't get what it needs from those ships. The British are going to starve. And so the Germans could cut them off from the outside world with submarines, they could force the British to leave the war. Until now, U-boats tried to play by international rules of engagement for all naval vessels and give civilian crews the chance to surrender and abandon ship before sinking it. Well, you can see the obvious problems with that. When a submarine surfaced, it's vulnerable. And the British very quickly learned to arm their merchant ships. Submarines would surface, and the merchant ship would start shooting at them. It couldn't stop a ship, take the passengers off, put them in a place of safety on board the submarine. There just wasn't space. You might capture the captain, but there wasn't space for all the crew and passengers. So submarines had to be used in a very inhumane way. The new rules of engagement get fast results. By the end of April 1915, German U-boats sink 39 merchant ships using both torpedoes and their powerful deck guns. But the new tactic of shoot on sight means American ships and citizens are soon caught in the crossfire. The problem with unrestricted submarine warfare for the Germans was that you couldn't tell necessarily who you were sinking.